down at that Capitol day, I know those folks. And I know that they're wearing suits, and I know that it comes off as kind of intimidating. I was intimidated too. Um, they're average people. So this is why I, I share this with you, because it, it, it gets forgotten. And it's important that the people remember this, and that the people never be intimidated to speak up. Because when the people are intimidated to speak up, it causes those of us who are in elected office to forget that we're average people. That may sound crazy, and it may cause you to, you know, in your heart think, that's, that's not right, of course we're average people. But it has to be reminded. We have to be reminded of it. You know, when the, when the people fear their government, there's a tyranny. When the government, fear, when the government fears the people, uh, there's liberty. Something like that. <laughs> so that's just something to bear Now, I'm prefacing all of this so that, that you'll believe me when I tell you this story. I've been asked how, we, how this came up, how, how the resolution came about. And I said it today during the committee. So I'm going to pick up a little speed here and wrap it up. I said it during the committee hearing today. I brought this resolution forward after about four years of reading emails. I didn't think that this was my responsibility as a state senator. I saw that I, I would be playing in someone else's sandbox. And man, I hate it when the feds are playing in my sandbox. Okay, so I didn't want to go and play in their sandbox. I felt like a hypocrite doing it. But I'll tell you, reading these emails, and I've received emails from many of you, and you, I, hopefully I've responded to you. I try to respond to all my emails. Uh, I thought to myself, you know, maybe, maybe I will bring this resolution forward, or at least a resolution. <laughs> I did contemplate bringing something stronger. But I thought uh, a resolution is something to have a chance. But I wasn't yet convinced, and so I went back and I started to read a little bit of the Constitution, a little bit of the Federalist Papers. I read some of Thomas Paine, got into the history a little bit of what, what was occurring at about the time of the, of the Revolution. And I shared this at the Constitutional Symposium up in Omaha. Uh, this is the time. It's times such as these that I believe folks like us are here doing what we're doing. And so, that, re that realization, it hit me, I have to do this, and the next thing that followed, fear, because I'm an average person. And I know that the forces that we're going up against are, if not diabolical, certainly formidable. And so I fear. And when I first put this thing out there, I tried to do it surreptitiously, quiet, in secret. The idea was to, to gain some momentum for this resolution, Quietly, quietly persuade the people on that committee to vote for this incredible idea that I was going to bring forward. And that was my plan because I was intimidated, because I'm average. But that's not the way it turned out. How many of you watch Fox News? Okay. Uh, did you see the Sean Hannity deal on Fox News? Okay. It's how we got it on my website. I'm proud of it now, but I'll tell you, I was scared to go on that program because I knew he's got a big audience. Uh, I had planned on doing this quietly. Then a newspaper reporter heard that someone is going to introduce this resolution that's going on in other parts of the country. Mind you, at this time, um, in the summertime last year, about 10 months ago, there was not, the folks were not screaming about health care. Folks were quiet. Obama had a head of steam. He wanted to pass health care. That was generally what people thought way back when, that it was going to pass. So at the time that I was contemplating this, it was not popular, and I knew that. And I was going to be quiet about it, but this newspaper reporter found out about it, and she called me up, and she says, Senator Fulton, I understand you're going to introduce a resolution. Oh, well, on what? Well, on states' rights. Well, you would be the type of person that would introduce this, wouldn't you, Senator? <laughs> so, yeah. And I couldn't lie to her. I said, well, I, I do plan on it. And she wrote a story about it. And that story ended up getting picked up by the Drudge Report. And then from the Drudge Report, we got a call from Fox News and from CNN. And my idea of keeping this thing quiet until I could spring it on my colleagues at the legislature was out the window. And you know what I felt? Intimidated and afraid because I'm an average person. And I'm not just saying that. You hear politicians say that. I am. Go look at the car that I drive. I'm an average person. But I did accept these interviews because I thought that this is an important thing and that I'm not going to hide from the fact that I'm bringing this resolution forward. 
and it was not popular at the time, and I caught heat from friends and from colleagues who said this is just nuts to bring, but I stuck to my guns and I trusted that God was guiding me in the right direction. And I appeared on Sean Hannity, and you probably, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. I was petrified. I mean, you're looking at a camera, and it's blackness behind it, and I knew in my mind that there were like five million people on the other side of that camera. <laughs> And like I said, I was afraid and I was intimidated that I was going to do this. And it turned out okay. Same thing today. I was intimidated to go before my colleagues, many of whom I only knew that one of my colleagues was in support of this bill. So we're, we're part of a great dramatic story right now because I don't know how this turns out. I'd like to be able to tell you that we're going to have a, a nice happy ending if this bill gets passed. I don't know that, but I can tell you that it was good today. Uh, there was one senator I knew who was in favor of it because he approached me to ask to co-sponsor, and that's Senator Price, the big guy, said over to the left, really big, really, like three of me. <laughs> and that was it. I didn't know how my other colleagues would, would react. I knew there would be a big crowd. Shelley and Linda told me there would be a big crowd. But when I opened the door, I well, that's a big crowd. <laughs> so there's a little pressure, it's a little intimidating, but we got through it. So why do I share this all with you? Okay? I'm in elected office. I have this title now because the people have bestowed it upon me. Some of you are contemplating running for office. Matt has taken a step forward. Part of what Shelley and her group want to do is to, is to encourage people to step forward. If you feel it on your heart and God is calling you to run for office, then who are you to tell him no? You should run. It's average people that serve at that legislature. And it's average people who started our country. It's average people. And it's intimidating, and it's scary, and it's hard to get up in front of people, although it does get easier with time. But it's still, even today, there's a little intimidation to get in front of people. But God will provide. In the end, if it's the right thing to do, you'll have the tools to do it. So I want to thank you for helping with this resolution today. It looks good on the outset. We'll see what happens when they actually go to vote for it. If they end up moving it forward, it will have been largely because of you. And I'm not just saying that, it's the truth. So thank you for that. Thank you for the prayers that you offer for elected officials. They need it because they're average people. And finally, to those of you who are going to be in elected office at some time in the future, I'm going to thank you in advance for watching out for my liberties. So thank you, and hopefully we get this thing passed. God bless you all.